I'm going to yell out the world is so stupid. Switching to 800% Eric voice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Planet Earth, you are so stupid. I can't believe people find you interesting. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for life. Go to bed now. Oh, Plankton. How dare you yell that planet Earth is stupid. Now everyone around the world is crying because of you. Planet Earth is more important than you think. That's it. You are grounded 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 for 29 years. Go inside the house and go upstairs to your room right now. Wait. SpongeBob! I wish you didn't exist anymore. You're even worse than Eugene Krabs. That's what you get for being really naughty. You should never say that stuff about society anymore. Shut up! Man! I can't believe the chum bucket is closed today, because my computer wife, Karen, went to a computer convention today, and kicked me out for the day. I want to find a way to make money, but what should I do? I know. I will just sneak into the Krusty Krab and steal Squidward's job. It may also get me closer to the Krabby Patty formula. Ha 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 how may I help you today? You're not wearing your work hat. Also, I am going to steal your job. Yes. Now I can go home and play my clarinet and brew up some tea. And now here I go, once and for all. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. How may I help you? I would like 978 Krabby Patties, 172 large Krabby Fries, 9 milkshakes, and 81 orders of Coral Bits. No, you need to order a lot less than that, because you will get 1000 times as fat as you are now. Besides, all of that costs $54,000, and we can't fit that money in the register. Fine. I'll just starve and die. We'll see who the idiot is then. I'll just leave, because Squidward was a lot more fair than you are. Get attacked by Godzilla. Hello. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. How may I help you? I would like one large Krabby Bee Patty, one medium order of Krabby Bee Fries, and a small soda. I'm sorry, but order a different drink, because our soda has so much sugar in it, that there's a 950% chance you will get a severe case of diabetes. Hey, I doubt there's such a thing as that. I just want the one large Krabby Bee Patty, one order of medium Krabby Bee Fries, and small soda right now, please. No. Fine. I'll just leave then. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. How may I? Wait. Sandy Cheeks. Where is your helmet and suit at? And why aren't your ears on your head like they used to be? Well, I've been used to the underwater atmosphere in all my thingamajigs, that I don't need them anymore. I'm a unique squirrel. And my ears aren't on my head anymore because that little good-for-nothing Patrick Star ripped them off and stuck them down here halfway down my head. Oh yeah, and I don't have my tail anymore because that good-for-nothing Patrick also ripped off my tail violently and ate it today for breakfast. Anyways. All I want today is one extra large junior senior sophomore patty. I'm sorry, but we are out of junior senior sophomore patties. 
Oh no you are not. I see a bunch of junior senior sophomore patties in the kitchen. They're made out of poop. Get out of here. You're meaner than a bullfrog choked to death by a pit of dead cockroaches on crutches. I thought me money smelled a scallywag on board. And it led to... Plankton. What in the name of Davy Jones are you doing, taking Squidward's job? Actually, I don't care. Mr. Krabs nothing. Mr. Krabs nothing. I'm rehiring Squidward. So, Plankton, you're fired. Get out of here, you one cell death threat. I went to underwater Gardner Webb University, you know. Me money don't take a day off. Even on Christmas, I'm here because me money don't take days off. Plankton. How dare you get fired from the Krusty Krab. That's it. You are grounded for 500 years. Go to bed now. Why? <laughs> Today's episode is... Plankton steals the teacher's job. Grounded. Man, I really hate my life. First I called the world stupid, then went to baby Mario Brothers 400 subscriber party, and got fired from my enemy's place of work, and got grounded. I also hate all of my teachers at Nintendo High School. They treat me like I'm a piece of crap. Give us tons of homework every night. Give us tests and quizzes 85 times a week. Math expects us to know Pythagorean theorems. Heck, I don't even know what, squared, or cubed, means, even though I'm in 10th grade, and, went to college. I'm actually in my 30s. You're probably asking. Why are you in your 30s in 10th grade? Because when I completed Underwater Gardner Webb University, my dad wanted me to start all over again from pre-K. He's going to keep doing that until I die. Anyways, language arts expects us to get an A plus on the reading comprehension they give us out of nowhere at least 17 times a day. Social studies expects us to know all 45 presidents in order and name them in under 60 seconds and science expects us to know 17 organelles of the cell and give a fact about each. Wait! Ranting about my teachers just gave me an idea. I am going to steal a teacher's job. Ha 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 ha
How dare you say that? That's it. Go to the principal's office right now. Oh, and did you know, I make Go Animate videos that are 2 trillion times better than yours. Hey, Orange Toad. That is. Attention, Plankton, report to my office right now. Plankton, I heard from these three students that you sent them up to my office for no reason. Don't say that I'm wrong, because I have a security camera in every classroom. That's it. You are expelled forever. Go home now. Plankton, how dare you steal the teacher's job and get expelled forever? That's it. You are grounded for 12,576 days. Go to bed now. So I just moved out of the GoAnimate website. I will move into the GoAnimate for Schools website on February 1st, 2017. Bad news is, I will have to remake all of my custom characters again from the beginning, so I can already guarantee they won't look exactly the same as they do here. That's bad, especially for Plankton Gets Grounded. The movie. How can I remember how to make new characters between now and February 1st, if I don't use Go Animate for a week? The best thing I can do is look at my older videos with the minute, but for right now, I'll show you what custom characters I will use in Go Animate for schools. Okay, take back what I just said about not knowing how to make the custom characters. But still, I am going to miss you guys. Good news is, I will make gaming videos for the week. This is Baby Mario Brothers, signing off. Today's episode is Plankton's Punishment Day. Oh come on! Plankton, how dare you try to steal the Krabby Patty formula for the 7 millionth time. That's it. Today is Punishment Day. First punishment, kicking you. Ouch! That hurts. I don't care. Second punishment, deleting your YouTube account. Third punishment, deleting your Pinterest account. Fourth punishment, 
making you take an extreme 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 cold shower. Now get in the extremely cold shower. Wow 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 this shower is extreme 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 cold. Fifth punishment, taking an extreme 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 hot shower. But dad, it's unhealthy to make your body go from one extremity to the other in too short of a time. Shut up and get in the shower. Oh wow wo 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 Go to your room right now, because you are grounded for 238 months. Why? Today's episode is Plankton steals $1,000. Grounded. Man, I don't know what to do today. I am relaxing, but that's not enough. What mischief should I cause today? I am scheming an idea. Ha ha. I know. I will steal $1,000 out of Mr. Krabs safe since he is on vacation today. Ha 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 ha. Here it is. Mr. Krabs' office. Now to steal $1,000 from Mr. Krabs' safe. Here I go. 4 23 0 Yes. The safe opened. Now to go inside. And now to steal $1,000. Yes. I got $1,000. Now let's get out of here. Yes. I stole $1,000. Yes. I stole $1,000. This is the best day of my entire life. Stop right there, Plankton. Uh-oh. I am caught red-handed. Plankton, how dare you steal $1,000 from Mr. Krabs safe? You know theft is against the law. That's it. You are grounded for 800 years. Go home now, and I will return this money. Can I have at least one cent? No. Give me every single cent of that money right now, so I can return it before Mr. Krabs gets back. Now get. Wa 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 wa. I hate my life. Mama. Help me. Help me. I'm scared. I don't want to die. Well, neither do I. The aliens might have already overpowered us by now. I'm the most scared out of all of us here. 
The aliens have sucked up my $25,000 car. It took me 5 years to make all that money. Stupid aliens making me go bankrupt. And I realized I just said dollars instead of dollar. Yes. We got the car. Mission accomplished. Yes. I completed the alien game that I invented at my place of work, the Chum Bucket, even though I converted it into a game-making emporium. Did I just hear that you made your own game and that you completed it, Plankton? Um, 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 um. Yes, I did. Plankton, how dare you make a game? That's it. I am taking your own game away from you. No dad. Please don't do it. It took me a full nine months to make it. Well, there goes nine full restless months of work down the drain in five seconds. I don't care. Now go to sleep for nine months. Yay. I slept for only nine hours and I am fully energized again, after nine months. Speaking of which, now that I am fully energized again, I know a lot of cool stuff to do today. So I am going to get off my lazy butt and actually go do something. I am going to go rob GameStop. Hello. Welcome to GameStop. How may I help you? I would like to buy Super Smash Bros. 64 for the Nintendo 64, please. Okay. That will be $60, please. Oh, crap. I left my wallet at home. Well, that means you can buy the Super Smash Bros. 64 game for the Nintendo 64. Listen here, idiot. I don't give one 4,929 of a crap about what you say. If you don't give me that game right now, I will throw a tantrum in GameStop. You are still not getting the Super Smash Bros. 64 game for the Nintendo 64. Oh, so you will not give me the game! That's it! I am going to rob your stupid store and throw a big tantrum right here! Yo, yo. Stop. Stop it right there, mister. Don't back, Paul Innocent. I could see you robbing GameStop by stealing all the games. Uh-oh. I am caught red-handed. That's right. I am going to take you back to your house. Never ever do this again, because robbing is illegal. Now go wait outside, so I can check on the cashier, because you punched them in the face so hard that you made them fall. Okay, sir. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Yes, I am okay. It only hurt tried whenever he punched me in the face. Wow, that's great to hear. But I am still going to take that trouble making microorganism back to his house, or ecosystem. Have a good day. You too, sir. Feel free to come back whenever you want. Sheldon Jet Plankton. I cannot believe you tried to rob a game stop in the outskirts of Bikini Bottom. I am really sorry Officer Wise Guy. I just really wanted to buy a copy of Super Smash Bros. 64, but I had forgotten my wallet at home. Likely story. When we get you home, we will tell your father all about this. Oh, that looks like your house right there. We will get out of the car and go straight to your father once we pull in. Oh god. What happened now? SpongeBob SquarePants, your plankton's dad? 
No, I'm actually not. Nobody knows this but. I'm not actually Plankton's father. Plankton's real father abandoned him and left him on the side of the road, so I am actually Plankton's guardian. That's why we live together. So now do you understand Officer Wise Guy? Yes I do. But I am here to inform you that your son, Plankton, tried to rob GameStop over a video game for the Nintendo 64. Plankton, I can't believe you tried to rob GameStop. That's it. Go to your room for the rest of the day. Okay dad. Fine. Don't let this happen again, or else your son will be arrested for two years. Okay officer wise guy. I understand. Good. If you need me, I'll be at the police station crapping all over the other police officers. Why in the world does he keep calling Plankton my son? Plankton is not my son. It's a good thing I snuck my laptop underneath the bed before I went to GameStop, so Dad couldn't be able to take it from me. But right now, I am going to go on YouTube. Yay! I found Super Mario Logan's YouTube account again. Now to watch some of his videos. What the crap? I can't watch any of his videos because my computer says that I don't have a Wi-Fi connection. Apparently I just lost my Wi-Fi connection because I just had it. But whatever. I guess I'll just go to Microsoft Word and finish typing up some cool stuff that I want to finish, such as Mario Kart predictions. What the heck? I got the blue screen of death. I don't even know how I got it. All I was doing was going to Microsoft Word like I normally do. Wait a minute. My legal guardian SpongeBob must have hacked into my Microsoft Word account, so it would give me the BSOD the next time I get on it. SpongeBob is a piece of crap. He's big, mean, stupid, filled with pores, fat, and a square-headed idiot. I wish we didn't have to live together anymore. GRRRRRRRRRRR. Now I've got nothing to do. I guess I'll just go to sleep or something, even though it's only 5.30 p.m. Sheldon J. Plankton, come downstairs right now. This is an urgent message. Man, what does he want? What is it? You said something was urgent. I'm anxious now. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow will be a busy day. At 8 o'clock a.m., you need to eat breakfast instead of at 11.59 a.m., like you usually do. Why do you need to eat breakfast so early? Because at 9.30 a.m., we have to meet up with Jacob Skryklik and his friends to go on an important mission. Is Jacob Skryklik that kid who wears the pants that look like shorts for a baby? And is he the one with that ginger friend of his with a mustache and glasses named Daniel? Yes, and yes. Just to let you know, Daniel will not be there tomorrow. But Jace, Mia, and some other friends will be there to take us on a mission. It's 5.30pm right now. You need to be in bed by 10pm tonight, so you can get up early and have enough time to get yourself awake without being all grouchy and pouty, okay? Okay Spongebob. You can just call me Guardy, because I'm your legal guardian. That's the word guard with a Y at the end of it. I understand, Guardy. Ha ha. It sounds like a funny word. I know. That's why I thought of it. But don't wear it out too much. I understand. I am just going to go back to my room, in case you were going to say it. I am just going to watch some TV. Do you or somebody you love have mesothelioma? GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
Why didn't they just squeeze in the last five seconds before the seven second commercials, huh? Now I'm left with nothing to do. I guess I'll just go to bed now, since everything has either been confiscated, or ruined by other events. Yes. I woke myself up at 8 o'clock a.m. on the dot, without an alarm clock. This benefits me a lot. Now to watch some more TV, or something. Sheldon J. Plankton, come downstairs right now. Your breakfast is ready. Are these deluxe happy meals that I see right in front of me? Yes they are, Plankton. You love to eat deluxe happy meals, so I got some for you early this morning while you were still asleep. Plus, you need your energy for today's mission. Alright. Time to eat me some happy meals. Oh boy. Those happy meals were delicious. I tasted a little bit of table in them though. Oh god. I don't feel so good. I feel like I am going to throw up a giant table. Black. I'm vomiting up a table. Holy crap. This table came out bigger than it did before you ate it. Weird. But why did you eat my happy meal? Now I have no energy for today. Thanks a lot, you stupid brat. Go to your room and get ready to go, because we have a 45 minute drive to take to meet up with Jacob Skryklik and his friends. Plankton is such an idiot. I wish I could ground him right now. But I can't, because I'm too tired to do so after driving to McDonald's and back at 7.15 in the morning. Well, I've really got nothing I want to take with me. My game got taken away, my computer got the BSOD, and my TV is not a portable, so I can't take it with me, unfortunately. The only thing I want to take with me is myself, and that's it. Stupid clock, why do you say 7 o'clock a.m.? It's 8.03 a.m. outside. Since I have nothing I want to take with me, I guess I'll just head on back downstairs. Okay. I'm ready to go. Are you sure you don't want anything? Are you sure you don't want to take my freaking clothes, eat them? and then throw them up like you did with the $659,000 table? Are you still ticked off about it? Oh yes I am, Plankton. I would have grounded you before you went back up to your room, but I was still too tired. You just got lucky, punk. At least I threw back up the table. I don't care now get in the freaking car right freaking now or you're grounded forever. That's what I thought. So SpongeBob, where are we actually going? We are going to the little island right above Bikini Bottom, where we will meet Jacob Skryklik, and his friends. Yay! We finally get to go back to where we used to live. I know. This is why I wanted you to have your energy for today. I also can't wait to see what mission Jacob has been talking about. I hope it is something good, and not something stupid like searching for a school note. It's okay. There will be a 99.999999999987568495% chance that it will be something interesting, okay? Okay. Welcome, Spongebob and Plankton. We've been expecting you. It's nice to meet you again, Jacob Skryklik, after seeing your Christmas special. Are you guys the only ones coming on the mission? Yes we are. Daniel was going to come, but he couldn't make it because he's at the hospital having a tonsillectomy. 
That doesn't sound like too much fun. One question though. Are you going to introduce yourselves? Yes. You already know that I'm Jacob Scruticlick, the guy that wears the pants that look like shorts for a baby. Hi. I'm Mia. I love to catch butterflies all day long. Butterflies are as pretty as me. Hey. I'm Hayden Alec. I am actually part Mexican. Hello everyone. My name is Andrew Phillips, and I am in a high school band. All of you seem cool. Now, Jacob, what mission were you telling us about? Oh, we are actually going to Bikini Bottom to see what it is like down there. It's okay. We will wear protective masks while we're down there, but you won't actually see them. And I've really been wanting to go to the Krusty Krab, too. We promise once we're in Bikini Bottom, we can all go to the Krusty Krab, if that'll make you happy. Fine with me. Let's just go already. You are such a sour puss, but whatever. I don't care if I'm a sour puss or not. I just want to go to the Krusty Krab, so you morons need to shut up by freaking now. That's better. Alright. I am going to go over there to the control station, to send us down to Bikini Bottom. And now we are successfully underwater. Now we will all leave in a single file line. I'll go out first. I'm next. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Last, as usual. Okay, now that we're all here. Let's split up to begin the mission I was talking about. Our mission is to restore Bikini Bottom to the way it was, because something hijacked the town. What? What happened? Well, I'm glad you asked. Old man Jenkins was speaking in front of the whole town one day, and then somebody catapulted him 50 feet away, and now nobody can find him. Jacob will search around Sandy's Treatum, Mia will look in Jellyfish Fields, I will look around Spongebob, Squidward, and Patrick's houses, and Andrew will look everywhere else. Sounds like a fair deal. Oh crap. I got to get to boating school so I'm not late. And I also have to get back to my place of work that I converted into a game-making emporium, the Chum Bucket. Okay. Operation Save Jenkins is a go. I am going to go to the Krusty Krab first to look for Old Man Jenkins and get myself a Krabby Patty or two. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. My name is Squidward. May I, um, take your order, I guess? Yes you can. I would like two large Krabby Patties, one order of large Krabby Fries, an order of small coral bits, and a small soda. Okay, that will be, um, some money. I didn't even pay attention to what you ordered. Just give me an amount of money. Here's one cent. Thanks for the one cent. Ooh, I put in a cash register, because that's where money goes. Mr. Squidward, are you out of your freaking mind? All the food and drinks and ordered cost a lot more than one cent. No, I'm not. As usual, I didn't pay attention to what the customer or customers ordered. And who just punched Andrew in the back of the head, causing him to fall over, even though it looks like he doesn't care. I don't care either. Squidward, you're fired for good. Even though he's done, Patrick Starr will fill in for you instead. See you never, fool. I hope the crusty crap doesn't exist tomorrow. I hated every second of employment. And now it's time to go back to me office to count me money for the 8,324th time today. Hello, Jake and Mia and Andrew. I'm standing in front of SpongeBob, Squidward, and Patrick's houses, searching for old man Jenkins, but they all have notes on them. Spongebob's house says, at boating school. Squidward's house says, just go away. No old guy is in this house. Patrick's house says, z z z z z. 
Are you stupid or something? Squidward's house is obvious. Look inside of his house. Okay. I am going to look around the inside and outside of Squidward's house especially, and the other two as well. Tengo una pregunta. Now what do you want, Hayden? Podemos trabajar en parejas. I'm too cute to understand what you're saying, Hayden. We're going to hang up on you now. I guess it's time for me to go inside Squidward's house now. Big surprise. There's no sign of old Matt Jenkins in the living room. Now I am going to look upstairs. Even bigger surprise. Nothing in the upstairs region either. Squidward's house really does have no old guy inside of it. I've got to go see who that green body over there is. Excuse me sir. Who are you and what are you doing here? Are you going to answer me? We are trying to search for a guy named Old Man Jenkins who is catapulted. Who did you say you were looking for? A guy named Old Man Jenkins. Oh, I know him. Because I am him. Hey, little girl. I am Old Man Jenkins. Yay! I found you here in Jellyfish Fields. But why did somebody catapult you here? Well, I was speaking to the town one day about how this guy, Plankton, should be run out of town for good. Because he kept stealing all of our money to convert his Chum Bucket restaurant into a game-making emporium. So now, here's what I want you to do. Call your friends or whoever, and tell them that I am in Jellyfish Fields. Okay, I will. Hello, Jacob, Hayden, and Andrew. Yes, this is Mia. And I am calling to tell you that I found old man Jenkins in Jellyfish Fields. Yes, I talked to him, so I have proof. Okay. I will be down there so we can bring him out of hiding and tell everyone we found him. Then Bikini Bottom will be restored to its former glory. Alright. Thank you Jacob. Goodbye. My friend Jacob is on his way ASAP. That's good. Now nobody will cause havoc in our town anymore. Oh. Here comes Jacob right now. Come follow me. Okay. Good job Mia. You found old man Jenkins. You weren't lying either. You deserve a gold star for your achievement. Come on. Let's go find Hayden and Andrew. Did I also mention that there was no Wi-Fi connectivity? But the worst part, is that I had no toilet paper. Shut up. That's gross. The Wi-Fi part, not the toilet paper. Well, I guess it's time for you to go back to where you came from, when you were speaking to the townspeople about Plankton stealing everyone's money. Alright. Bye, guys. Thanks to all of you. Even if you didn't find me, none of this would have happened without the little one. I do have one question though. When we came on to Walter, SpongeBob said, Oh crap, I got to get to boating school. Compared to everything else, that makes no sense to me. I think I know why, Andrew. The word boating begins with a B, today's Monday, which is the second day of the week, compared to the letter B which is the second letter of the alphabet. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense to me. No sarcasm intended. Hey, I got another question. Now what do you want? Why did Plankton immediately go back to his place of work as soon as we came on to Walter? I think I know it, Andrew. SpongeBob said while we were inside the submarine that Plankton made a one-of-a-kind video game to himself, but SpongeBob confiscated it from him. So I guess Plankton went back there to see if he had a backup data file with the game on it, to see if he could have the game to himself again. You must know everything about everything. 
Last question. To test your knowledge, what is the type of medicine used for relieving pain and lowering fevers? Acetaminophen. Wow. What are you, a doctor or something? That is correct. I know. So what do you guys want to do right now? I want to go to Plankton's place of work to see what he is doing. Anybody else want to do anything while in Bikini Bottom? No? Okay then. Mia, Andrew, and I will go to SpongeBob's house and relax. I can't wait to see what Plankton is doing in his place of work. Walking, 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 walking. Man, I can't believe I finished creating the best one of all kind game ever. If someone else tests it, I could share it with the whole world and become famous, so I can make more. Hey Plankton. Did I just hear you created the best game ever, and that you want to spread it worldwide, so you can make more games? Oh, uh, yes, I did. Would you like to test it out to see if it's good? Sure. Good for you. Here's a controller. Alright. Now to test out your new game. Best. Game. Ever. Wait, really? Yes. You should totally sell this game so the whole world can experience how truly amazing your new creation is. I knew you'd like it. It took me a full 15 minutes to do it. Well, you know what they say. The quicker, the better. Right? That's correct. Clearly. Well, I'm just glad you like my new creation, entitled, The. Wow. What a great name. I know that, silly goose egg. Well, I guess it's time for me to head off now. I enjoyed your new creation, entitled, V. Everyone is going to love it. Wait just a second before you go. Would you yell out for SpongeBob, because I want him to come here to see my new invention, entitled, The. I'm sure he will love it just like we do. Okay. Oh my god. Hayden fell out the window. I guess I shouldn't have put the booby trap right there too. I forgot I got aggravated of people staring out the window. Crap. This is my fault. What the crap is going on outside? Did the hospital notice Hayden fall out the window? Crap. Now I am in bigger trouble. Sir, are you okay? Can you hear what I'm saying? It, oh, hurts, oh, so bad. Oh, my leg. Oh, my arm. Oh, 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 owie. It will be okay, sir. I will have to just carry you to the hospital since one of our employees, Simon, stole the gurney. He thought it was a chocolate helicopter full of bamboos. I've been meaning to ask you, but sir, how did you get injured so badly? You will be extremely furious whenever I tell you this. Please tell me. I'm your nurse, so you can definitely trust me. Okay. Plankton told me to look out the windows to call for SpongeBob because he needed something, but there was a booby trap that Plankton set up right by the window. Once I stepped on the booby trap, I was sent flying out the window onto the hard concrete. He said he put it there because he was getting aggravated of people staring the window. Wait, what? Really? Oh. My. God. How dare he freaking do something like this. That's it. I'm calling SpongeBob SquarePants right now. Hello. Is this SpongeBob SquarePants? Good. Anyways, this is Nurse Kate. Do you know what Plankton did? He had a booby trap set up right by the window. He told Hayden Nalik to peep out the window to call for you to come to his emporium, but then he fell out and broke his arm and leg. And now Hayden is in the hospital. What? That's it. I am going straight to the emporium right now.
You're lucky we just got out of boating school because the Happy Wheels irresponsible dad burned it down. All right. Thanks for letting me know. Have the best day you can, sir. Sorry about that. Anyways, now let's check your x-rays. Wow. I can't believe I uploaded my new creation 5 minutes ago and I got 26 downloads already. Oh no you don't, Plankton. Stop this right now. Plankton, how dare you make another game after I said not to, and throw Hayden Alec off a window and hit the concrete. That's it. Pack your stuff. We're going home now. Uh oh. Plankton, I am ashamed. Today, you ate my happy meal, threw up my table, made another game after I told you no, and you threw a man out the window with a secret booby trap. I am sorry SpongeBob. To be honest, I didn't even know about the booby trap. I don't trap. care, you idiot. Sorry is not going to cut it this time. When we get home, there will be severe consequences. Oh. It looks like we are at the surface now. Oh. My. Freaking. God. Sheldon J. Plankton. This has crossed the line. As of now. It is time for me to say something I haven't been able to say all day. Plankton, you are grounded forever and ever and ever. This means no TV, no computers, no more visiting Bikini Bottom, no happy meals, no food in general, no drinks, no friends, and furthermore. Now go upstairs to your room right now, while I call the military school to take you away tomorrow. Shut up. You're not a baby. Officer Wise Guy. What are you doing here? Congratulations on finally grounding Sheldon J. Plankton for all the bad stuff he has done in the last few days. And in return, I'd like to give you something as a reward. Cool. I got a tazer. Thanks Officer Wise Guy. You're welcome. That was actually my dad's, but he's retiring, so I wanted you to have it in case you need it. I do appreciate this gift. Uh-oh. I accidentally left Andrew, Mia, Jacob, and Hayden in Bikini Bottom. Don't worry about a thing. I'll go get them later. I promise you. Oh, it looks like I have to get back to the station. Well, see you later. I've got three words to end a perfect day. That's all, folks.
made it to the top of the building. But it will all be worth it whenever I set this office room on fire with that flammable plant that is sitting over there on the table. Plankton, I just got a call from the GoAnimate City office. They said they saw a unicellular microorganism through a microscope burning the top floor of the office. Is this true? Um, 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 um. Yes, it is. I decided to burn down the office because I haven't caused havoc in a while, so I did it to be recognized again after dying because of my Ivona voice getting removed. Switching to 800% Brian voice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh 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 Plankton, I cannot believe you brunt down go animate city office. Now we have to pay the damages to restore the office. That's it. You are super freaking grounded 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 for 5763 months. Go upstairs to your room right now, and never ever 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 come out. What?